its curriculum buying season again very soon and so I decided to go ahead and get curriculum spotlights started. If you've never watched a curriculum spotlight I it's not really a review but I take you through the material tell you what I like about it what I don't like about it how we use it that sort of thing and it came about because when I'm looking at curriculum that's what I want to know what does someone like what don't they like about it and I want to be able to look at it obviously I can't actually put the whole thing in your hands but I will take you into the curriculum later and uh, do my best to show you what it's like one I chose today is mr. Q's science and I chose it specifically because it is on sale this week through January 15th he has a sale every year this time the 50% off sale so it's a great time to take a look at it and pick it up for next year if you decide on it we used the life science book two years ago and then this year we are using the physics he has a classic level which is designed for elementary and then an advanced level that he labels as high school level but honestly looking at it I think it could easily be used for a junior high level I also think that the elementary is better for like the first through fourth grade that fifth and sixth grade for us it wouldn't be appropriate by itself I would need to supplement in with it but that totally depends on your expectations and levels um, since my daughter is a seventh grader we are using the classic level but with a lot of supplementing for her sp most specifically and my third grader loves science so he wants more than what the book offers as well the cost is fifty dollars and that includes the student book and the parent guide the elementary life science curriculum is completely free you can have the entire book of each if you want just a portion of one of the units of one of the books you can also buy that separately and I think the cost was $15 I forgot to write that down I believe it's $15 for a unit which is like three or four chapters okay. he does also offer the entire first chapter of every book for free on his website so you can get a pretty good sample size to decide if you want to go with it or not the only place I know to buy is his website pros and cons Pro number one, it's a very get it done program for us, and I need that. I love science, I love teaching science, but if I don't have clear plans and very clear, this is what it, I need to do, it doesn't get done, or definitely not to the level that I would prefer. So, it is a very get it done for us. <clears throat> number two, his writing style, while it's not the way I would love it, my kids like it. It's kind of a fun, wacky style. My kids enjoy it, especially my boys, and they internalize and remember what he says. So that's that's really what's important. It doesn't matter if, I, <laughs> if it's the way I would learn best. If they're picking it up, then and that's what's important. Number three, the activities are pretty simple and straightforward. And that is a huge plus. Um, sometimes I read activities and I think that is, that's not going to happen. Um, but I like that they are, that you use pretty, um, most of the materials are things you can, that you really do have around your house. They know some things always say that and then they never are. But this really is pretty, um, things you can find around the house or um, things that you can pick up at Target, the grocery store, that sort of thing. There are a few things, at least in the physics, I forget in the other, in life science, that I needed to go to a Radio Shack place for. If you don't have a Radio Shack, I know they're dying out. I don't know where else in person you can look for that kind of thing, although I know you can get them all over the internet and probably everything at Amazon if you need it. <laughs> and pro is that it can be written towards or it's written for the kids to read we don't do it that way I'll talk about how we do it in a minute but um that I know a lot of people like a program that is completely written to the kids and this one definitely is cons number one is that I it's not as in-depth as I would like especially if you are using on the upper end of the suggested range I think it's quite sufficient the way it is and 
for a lot of families it's a perfect mix and a lot of kids it's a perfect fit for I have one who will my oldest will probably do something with physics in college um, and my middle loves science so for our family it, they want more than what is on here but like I said I mean it really just depends on your family and your kids number two well, the activities are straightforward with easy materials. Sometimes they're not, they don't work well in my, in our experience. Um, or I don't really see the point in actually doing the activity. I, I don't think, I'm terrible about doing activities. I've talked about this before, science activities. So I have to have a good payoff <laughs> in order to do the experiment or the activity. And if not, then I don't. And I hate doing it. So, kind of hit or miss with us. And the third con is that there's, you can't buy like a lab kit from any place with all the materials in it. I know for me, it, I always I hate to buy those things because I think they're so expensive. On the other hand, if I don't, then I'm often scrambling for materials. So, if that is something that you like, this is not the program for you. My goal every year is to get a big tote and fill all the materials at the beginning of the year. I never do it, but <laughs> that's always my goal. How we use it. We on Mondays do the reading. It's just one chapter per thing. We do the reading and then the questions and the go over the definitions. Those are all the questions and definitions are in the teacher's guide. So we do that on Mondays. On Tuesdays, we use the supplemental books, which is mostly CPO, uh, middle school physics. I forget the actual name, physical earth. And I think that's what it is. Anyway, we go through that on Tuesdays. And then on Wednesdays, Mr. Q in his teacher guide includes some worksheets. So I will pull out a couple of those have the boys work on those and then for Elizabeth I usually have her do some from some of the questions from CPO because he, that incorporates some of the um, math that goes along with physics and I really wanted that for her level. And then Thursdays and Fridays we do different supplements and some of the activities from here or from another book. Um, Von Cleve, Janice Von Cleve's Physics for Kids, she has a whole series of activity books and um, we use some of hers. Her whole series is really good if you're looking for a science activity resource. It's a very easy to implement program open and go if you've already prepped at the beginning of the year with like, printed the worksheets and gathered your materials. There's no work, there's no prep involved each week. So I really like that. There's nothing, I don't need to read ahead if I don't want to. So that's really nice. Next year I anticipate using the classic series for my boys. Um, we're going to do chemistry next year, but this will be next year will be the first year that we split the kids apart with Elizabeth doing the science separately from the boys. She'll be doing chemistry. They'll both be doing chemistry, but different ones. I do not think that I'm going to use the advanced series for her next year. Not because of anything wrong with the curriculum, but there are a few other few other science chemistry curriculum that I think would be better for her alone. A couple other things to know. It is only available in a PDF, so um, you can put it on your tablet or whatever, or get it printed out if that's your choice. I have ours in, I use ours from the iPad and I open it in Notability because I can, in there, I can make notes, I can highlight whatever I need to do so I can kind of remind myself of <laughs> You know, things to specifically hit um, or something to add. So that is, but I know that's a big, but I know a lot of people either love having PDFs so they have less books or they hate it because they don't want to have, to have screens. So, and then something, number two is that he does do a monthly email. It's not weekly. It does not get overwhelming like some curriculum manufacturers um, but he puts out an 
email monthly with lesson plans and just additional this and that with science. They're really good, so even if you don't decide to go with him, it's still a great resource, I think. And number three is, in addition to the first chapter he offers on his website, he does also offer a full materials list so you can check and see if it's things that you can find before you before you commit. He also has a full table of contents um, so you can see what will be covered the entire year. Now I'm going to head over to the computer and take you into it so you can see what the curriculum looks like. Okay, so here is what Mr. Q's looks like. And copyright, table of contents. As you can see, four chapters per unit. Here's the rest of the contents. Okay. You can see there's lots of colorful, there's colors, and he uses lots of variety of font sizes and such to make it vis pretty visually interesting to the kids, even if it's not you know, appealing to what I would prefer, but the kids like it. Yeah. At the end of the chapter, you can see here's one of the worksheets. And then here are the other two worksheets. Like I said, I put this in Notability usually, so the kids can write right on it. But uh, you can also print them out. There's more of the different kinds of worksheets at the end. Here's the other variety. He kind of rotates between those <laughs> sets. But you can see there's the unit review. There are 36 chapters per book. So if you follow a standard calendar, it'll be right on cue for you. There's a glossary at the end of the book, but there is not a full book review. So we have a parent copy. He goes through the timeline as well as the contents. There's your materials that you need. And then he goes through the whole process of um, the scientific process for activities. He teaches how to build a hypothesis, data, all of that thing. So if your child's going to do a science fair, this has some really good information. And even if he's not, it's definitely worth a read. You can see he puts out day one, and then the definitions and the questions. I print those into my OneNote. Day two. And then day three. And then repeats the same thing. I like that he talks about what standards you're going to be covering. And the explanations are very good as well. Definitely take time to read those. And there is a glossary at the end of this one too. So, this is Mr. Q's Science. If you are interested in it, definitely take a look this week before January 15th when the 50% off sale goes off. And if you have any questions about this one, be sure to leave it below. I will do my very best to answer it. Uh, thanks for watching.